Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gaynor. Okay, two of us are here. Yeah. Um, if you think you subscribe to the channel, we've had a couple of people tell us that they thought they were subscribed all this time and they've been unsubscribed by YouTube. So uh, if you can just check, and if you're new to the channel, or welcome, number one. And number two, like and subscribe, go for it. A yes. uh, bit of a EWU, Explore yes. With Us, great channel. Yeah, very uh, good. Great content. It's our go to channel for all the uh, body cam sort of like stuff and uh, yeah. real, real, what do you call it? Real crime, yeah. I guess, like. Mm. True crime. True crime, yeah. Yeah. A girl catches stranger in her house, then films this is something my worst shocking. Nightmare. Walking in the house and finding someone in there that shouldn't be yeah, in there. Yeah. I'm trying to think if it's ever happened to us. Well, if you remember Some... when we had our first house, we came home and, and there was all like stuff on the floor and we were like, What's all that? And somebody had been trying to kick the back door in and the next door yeah. neighbour. They next door had interrupted, hadn't yeah. they? Yeah. Um but I don't think it's anyone actually been inside the house. Oh, yeah, there was. Your mum's. mums. Yeah. yeah. When I went down and the alarm was going off, and I thought it was just a fault in the alarm. Yeah. I didn't see a lot of people dive out the window. No. Yeah, they'd yeah. taken the actual whole window out. Mm. It was the days when it was like the wooden windows with the putty. Yeah. And yeah. they picked and picked and took the whole window out. So that was pretty scary. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, there's five. Of them. Five, wasn't it? Four. Oh, four. four. Oof, yeah. There you go. Anyway, girl catches stranger in her house, then films something shocking. Sheriff's office, come out to the sound of my voice with your hands up. My mom's and you then what are you doing at my house? I'm coming to John and I don't know what happened. It's unknown where the male suspect is. He's possibly armed. Well, he had a couple knives and he said that I'll hit you or I'll stab you. And we made it halfway heard a gunshot. She's been killed. Two Arizona college students watch their worst fears come true when a masked intruder breaks into their home in the middle of the night. By the time the cops arrive, the suspect has vanished, leaving behind an arsenal of strange weapons and the woman he senselessly killed. Police must be ready for anything, but even they aren't prepared for the shocking video the victims filmed only moments before the shooting. It's just past midnight on October 3rd, 2017, when a young woman named Alexa from Concho, Arizona, calls 911 to report a home invasion in progress. 911, where's your emergency? I have an intruder in my house. Come there. And he's still there? He is still here. He has uh, three knives, a utility tool, and a hockey stick. Came in and wanted our car keys. I persistently said no. I never hit him. He did hit me. Where is he now? My mom has him at the front door. The call is bizarre. And it only gets weirder as Alexa. That seems a little bit calm. Yeah, and I, I, he hit me, but I never hit him. Yeah. Why would you say that? Yeah, and my mum has him at the door. Yeah, this is this very is, strange. But that intruder, when it when it panned through to me before with the balaclava on, yeah. what's it look like a kid? Yeah, he did look quite small, yeah. didn't he? It calmly describes the intruder, who's apparently standing only a few feet away. Has a mask on. He is about five, six, five, five. What does the mask look like? It's black. It only covers it. Shows his eyes and his mouth. So like a black ski mask? Mm -hmm. Even as Alexa maintains her composure, the sounds in the background indicate a situation that could go off the rails at any moment. If the audio of this encounter sounds eerie, it's nothing compared to the video that was captured on a cell phone. Keep doing it. Just please. No, just get that off of there. No, I'm not gonna put. Then what the f are you doing in my house? Oh, she's got a gun. Yeah. Get out, okay? Just don't shoot me. Then get out. Get out. Take that off. No, no I can't right take it off. My right to conceal my identity. This is my right. For this me. is your house. I understand. I'm really yeah. sorry I came in. What the hell are you doing to my house? This looks like someone filming a shithole movie. Yeah, I know. It? This is bizarre. This is very bizarre. The way, even the way she's like holding the gun doesn't seem like a. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and why is she like telling him to get out? Like by this time I'd have shot his foot or something. <laughs> That's only a small part of the video. 
The disturbing second half will be revealed as the police continue their investigation. In the meantime, a neighbor calls 911 to make sure that help is on the way. Just stay where you're at. They're on their way. They'll be there as quick as they can. That had better be fast. She's got her by knife point. Yeah, I know. She's, yeah, and she's got a gun. Oh, she's got a gun? This is news to the dispatcher, and it instantly changes the dynamic of this dangerous situation. Oh, this has made crystal clear as a dispatcher and an operator from the sheriff's department call back, urging Alexa and her mother to step away from the intruder. Eventually, 18 minutes since the initial 911 call, the operator calls back one more time. Alexa? Alexa? This is Melissa from the county. What's going on? Uh, oh, my mom has a gun, and he went after her, and got his gun, I don't know what happened. Did he shoot your mom? Oh, no. Is anybody injured? I don't know. We ran, and we went across the street at our neighbor's house, and I don't know what happened. Where's your mom? When they've called back, have they called back a cell phone? Or Probably. a house phone? I don't know if it's a cell phone or a house phone. I'm no, guessing no. it's a cell phone if she's across the road and, the, and they've called back. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she's in the house. I don't know if she's got a shot or anything. I, in my house. <laughs> yeah. Your mom still... Is, is the suspect still there? I don't know. I, I honestly have no idea. I, we heard a gunshot when we were leaving the house. <laughs> And she told us to run, and so we ran over to the, the across the street. <laughs> Deputies with the Apache County Sheriff's Office arrive on the scene, and they must exercise the utmost caution. The property is nearly pitch black, the suspect's whereabouts are unknown, and it's only moments before they make a disturbing discovery. An open door. Sheriff's office. Oh, Sheriff's office, come out to the sound of my voice with your hands up. Policing in this situation is so like volatile, isn't yeah. it? Like, you know, you don't know what you're going to, no. you don't know what you're facing. No, you have exactly. no idea. Yeah. And he's going in there brave, yeah. right? Unknown where the male suspect is, he's possibly armed. Start waking up some more people and get some more units out here. Start calling District 1. The police will wait for backup before breaching the house, but though that may be the cautious choice, it doesn't guarantee their safety. The only thing I do not like, I'll be honest with you, is we don't know if this guy's back behind us. That's why. Um, yes, sir. Yeah, that area's clear. I just, we got a lot of brush back here. I want to get these, we should for sure need to get those people inside and lock the door. We have no idea where this guy's at. Yeah, I got you. Several new deputies arrive on scene before trouble can emerge from the darkness. They enter the house knowing that the armed suspect could be anywhere. Wow. Proper risky, yeah. right? There's another house. There are two houses on this property. 
this one, where 18-year-old Alexa and her roommate Larissa lived together, and a larger one, where until tonight, Alexa's mom, Terry Lynn Collins, lived with her husband and their 14-year-old son. This, this house is part of this house property? Uh-huh. 14-year-old boys over there. The two daughters that live here are over there. Okay. Nobody knows she's 901. I would say yes. She took one right between the eyes. 901, does that mean she's deceased? Yeah. Um, I'm assuming. Well, she took um, one right between the eyes. But they so. said it's where the, the son lived as well. And that kid looked very small. Yeah. Or that guy looked very small. You don't mm. think it's a son, do you? I never thought of that. It almost looks execution style. The suddenness with which this home invasion turned deadly serious is shocking. And the peculiar assortment of weapons left behind only adds to the madness. But it's something bizarre that the 911 dispatcher said that the officers now remember in vivid detail. We don't know where the gun's at. I see a whole across the street over this little house over here. Because he kept uh, staying, I'm 19, I got blue eyes, I'm 19, I got blue eyes, I guess. Are the police looking for a suspect that fits that description? Or was this a ploy on his part to confuse any witnesses he left at the scene? Hoping to get more information, police speak to the neighbor across the street. Ma'am, we're working this right now. I'm sorry, DiMatteo. How old are the kids? Okay. And there's a 14 year old in there by himself. Yes, ma'am. Her husband's on his way. He's at the mm. airport right now. In Sholo Airport? No, somebody's oh. flying him up. Okay, we don't know where this guy is. That's why we don't want nobody I know. else there. My um, husband's with me. Okay, okay. If you could just go back inside, we'll we'll be over and talk to everybody just a little okay. bit. The deputies do a brief search of the so outer the property, the... but yeah. there remains no sign of the suspect. They come back to Barbara's house to conduct an interview with 18-year-old Alexa. Ladies, hang up your phone. Hang up your phones. This is, this is the daughters. Can I talk to they you? They want to talk to you, yeah. you can do it. I can't answer any questions right now. I need to answer, ask you some questions because we need the description of the guy so we can start trying to locate him. Okay? Five, six, white, hazel eyes. Uh, about 19. He said Can he was you younger, but I'm not sure. Go into another room until we're done, because I don't want to. I want to get separate things. What exactly? What exactly happened? How did it start? Well, I was in bed. Okay. And then which bedroom is yours? The one next to the living room, next to the couch. Okay. Can I just ask if she's alive? I can't answer any questions. I need you to answer mine. Please. She's not. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was my brother who came in. And so, like, I see a figure walk into my room because I wasn't asleep. And he kind of just left. And then he was threatening Larissa. And um, I, I knew I should have called 911, but I didn't. I got out of bed and kind of just did the tough guy act and told him to leave and when he threatened the Lewis, what did he say uh well he had a couple knives and he said that i'll hit you or i'll stab you and he's like i don't want to but if this brings me to it okay and he wanted our car keys and i told him no several times and i told him to leave alexa texted her mom who rushed to the trailer with a gun a situation that soon spiraled out of control what kind of gun did your mom have it was a silver uh, revolver, six bullet. Well, it had four in it at the time. I heard one shot. I don't know if there are three left in it or if there were more shots. Okay, so how did he end up, how did all the knives and stuff end up on the table? Uh, my mom told him to drop them. He put them on the ground and I picked them up and I put them on the, are they still there? Yeah, they're still, all, everything, all that's still on the table. <laughs> so he put all that on. You put all that on the table after I you put dropped it. I put all on the table now and the a hockey stick and a wrench. Now there's a chair right by the. I put it there because my mom wanted him to back off. Okay. Was he sitting in the chair? No, or never. He he, he stood was, there and then. Uh, so I was on the phone with. I called you guys and then like, five minutes maybe went by. Uh -huh. And. <laughs> and then. She had, she always had her gun pointed towards him, and he went for it, and my mom started screaming, and 
So she told us to run. So <laughs> we ran over here. And... <laughs> I don't know whether it's just me, but it sounds like fake crying. I don't know. And so you're in that situation. I don't know. It's yeah. um, I don't know. It's you, you have to. The cops are trained for this, aren't they? Sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering what the brother was doing during all this. Well, it's, it said that the the brother was at home with the mother and father, and they them two live in a separate house. No, the father's not there. The father's said the father's flying in. Sorry, he lived he lives with the mum and dad. Yeah. Um, but I'm wondering where he was in this when this was all going down. We've not mentioned him yet. No. Mm. Then I heard a gunshot. <laughs> police are ready to take Alexa and her roommate to the police station. But there's one more member of the family they need to retrieve. They haven't yet cleared the big house, and they're acutely aware that the suspect could be anywhere. Or anyone. You got that on clear. They're behind you. Liam. Liam, my name's Deputy Dodge. I'm with the Sheriff's Office. I need you to come with me right now. He's the brother. Come yeah. with me now. Grab a shirt. Put yeah. some clothes on. We'll explain more in a minute. I need you to come with me right now. The witness statements don't implicate 14-year-old Liam, but the deputy doesn't let his guard down. Grab a shirt. Come with me. I think he's a suspect. I, I think it's him now, just from the way it's going. Mm. Yeah, probably a little warmer. Yeah, this way. Where's my mom? We'll explain everything here in a minute. With Liam accounted for, there's only one member of the family left to speak to. Police meet with Ernie Collins, Terry Lynn's husband, who was on the phone with her during the break-in. Ernie was out of town and flew back in as soon as he got off the phone with his wife. What's your hair? I heard my wife telling someone that he needed to step the f back or she was going to shoot him. He was saying stupid like, I just needed a ride. I was just trying to find a ride. And Terry Lynn was saying, you were trying to find a ride with a, a, a damn ski mask and knives on you. Hey, man. Terry Lynn's been killed, dude. She's been killed. <laughs> no, no. While at the station, the deputies continue to question Alexa and Larissa, looking for any clues that might get them a step closer to finding Terry Lynn's killer. I asked him to leave many, many times. He said no gave me a sob story that he's been living out in the woods for like five years and that, or four years and that. I think if it was the brother, the sisters would know the, the voice, wouldn't they? But I'm thinking they may know, they already knew it was the oh, brother. Oh, you think he, they're all in on it? Not in on, not in on the, uh, the thing. I think something's, something domestic has happened. Is in my mind is what yeah. I'm thinking now. I, I'm open and proven wrong. I don't know, my mindset straight that it wasn't have nothing to do with any of them. Yeah. But um, the way this is going, is she's saying uh, she's saying he's lived in the woods for four. What happened? You wouldn't get into stories with anyone. You'd be just scrapping with them to get them out of your house. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? mean? Especially if you got a gun, you'd be forcing them out. Yeah. I don't know, you'd be peppering bullets, wouldn't you? Really? Yeah, exactly. He left his parents' house at the age of fifteen, and the the knives were his dad's. He's been living out. He doesn't have a home. No bar. Locked, Police can hardly comprehend an intruder who would offer this much detail yeah. about his life while still at the scene of the crime. But if they think what they've heard so far is strange, Larissa gives them something that will add a bizarre new layer to this unbelievable story. 
Yeah, I have the video turned on. Show me the video. The video taken of the suspect that night is as peculiar as it is harrowing. Terry Lynn is seen holding the intruder at gunpoint, seemingly without fear, not knowing that these would be the last few minutes of her life. What the hell are you doing to my house? He wanted to I take our cars. I just need You're going to take their car. It just sounds like I said before, it sounds like a shithole movie yeah. that someone staged for like, I don't know, a TikTok or, or whatever. And it might have been a TikTok gone wrong. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Bullets in the gun and he not knowing it might have thought it might be empty. I don't know. The way she's holding the gun doesn't seem convincing. Someone's in my house and I've got hold of the gun. Well, I'm, you, know, you know, the same as what everyone else will probably be doing. Yeah. At first, I thought I would just fuck borrow the car and leave it in Phoenix at a parking garage. Oh, I'd like to get it. I don't think so. But I know. That's I know. what they I said. Too. They disagreed too. So they were saying that they would give me a ride. No, no, don't, don't, then don't, please, don't call the cops. You, please don't call the cops. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. I know you, you are not. I'll go out the back door. No, please. uh-uh. No. No. Please just let no. me go, no. okay? No. No. You picked the wrong house buddy boy did you already dial yes i did okay you dialed all right, all right um you better be thinking what you're gonna do telling these girls you've got a knife in your side pocket excuse me I already hit you were me using with... voice dot you were using voice type no i'm standing outside listening to you you know she lives next door right next door yeah i know how does he know I did not want any trouble. I just want to leave. No. Can I leave now? No. Please, just let me leave. Tell me why you're here. I just wanted to write. That's it. Tell me why you are here. The video ends on that uncertain note. How but bizarre. who could have foreseen that only moments later, the situation would turn catastrophic? I guess he got a little reckless and went for the gun when my mom wasn't really very aware. Mm -hmm. They struggled, my mom started screaming and then told us to run. So her and I went back out the back door, no shoes on. When we made it halfway, I heard a gunshot. And I looked back and I saw a figure in the window moving. I'm not sure who it was because I saw a lot of white. And he was wearing a ski mask. Having listened to the statements and watched the cell phone video, the deputy asks a reasonable question. Fair to say you guys weren't really taking this seriously at the beginning? I'm sure that I can leave, but I didn't have any way of protecting myself. Mm -hmm. So I just told him to keep backing off and backing off. Okay. Before finishing the interview, Alexa remembers one final detail. Um, he has a scar on his elbow. Okay. It's his right elbow. Hmm? It's about gay babe. Did he have a hoodie on? Yeah, I thought he did. Three inches or so? Maybe. From a motorcycle accident. Right. I don't know why he told me this much about himself. I really didn't want him in my house. Let alone kill my mom. Everyone regrets the way things turned out that night. None more so than Terry Lynn's husband, Ernie. I was yelling shit at that mother shoot him. But Terry Lynn's husband thinks he knows all too well why she didn't pull the trigger. You know, I told the other detective he was 5'6". I do not know. Um, he should be back. If not, I can relay that to him. I don't even know how I know that. It's a short dude. He sounded like a kid. That's why he wanted to shoot him. Everyone may have an opinion about Terry Lynn's decision, but now is not the time for it. There is an armed suspect on the loose. Police must track him down before he strikes again. A bulletin from the Arizona Department of Public Safety goes out to the public, identifying the suspect as 14-year-old Joshua Cade Richardson. In remarks to the local media, Ernie Collins says, I hope they catch this kid. I hope he resists because I don't want him to go to prison and get released in four years. Richardson is taken into custody without incident. At the jail, the 14-year-old's mother is by his side as he's brought in for a forensic interview. Because Joshua Richardson is a minor at the time of this interview, 
the police department has blurred his face for privacy. He had his sleep. Okay. 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 You look like you need water. You look soft. The whole family is here. Okay. We love you very much. Okay. We love you very much. Joshua's mom seems oblivious to the horrific truth of what her son has done. Instead, she's far more concerned with limiting the consequences. Joshua, um, I understand that you probably don't know that you have rights, and I do not think it's within your best interest to answer any questions or talk about things until you have an attorney present, because those are your rights. Okay. His mom advises him to keep quiet, but Joshua seems to quickly forget this recommendation after the police read him his official rights. Do you agree to give up these rights and talk with us? What? Okay. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. Sure. Um, this is a forensic interview. This is an interrogation. Okay, I'm not going to be asking direct questions. That's okay. He's just open. He is going to talk about this with an attorney present, as his rights have been. Okay. Um, and so the answer to that last question, I think we should re-review that. Okay. This time, Joshua asserts his right to speak to his attorney, taking the interview off the table. I'm sorry that this has happened, okay? The Apache County Attorney's Office filed charges against Joshua. I think that blur is a bit <laughs> far to the left. I only had one eye. Cade Richardson for the murder of 54-year-old Terry Lynn Collins, along with two counts of aggravated assault against Alexa Collins and Larissa Campbell. In January 2021, Richardson was sentenced to 12 years in prison, with credit for 1,200 days already served. Sheriff, sir. Wow. What a bizarre story. Yeah. It's like the, the dad, though, when he said he was, he was like five foot six. How would he know? No, yeah. There was loads of stuff in there. It was just like bizarre. Yeah, and that's what he even said. After he said it, he went, I don't know how I know that. Yeah, it looked like it just a shit home video gone wrong. Yeah. But again, if you're dealing with what you think's a kid, which it was yeah. in the end, then you know, and he was telling stories about how he's got a motorcycle accident on his elbow and stuff like that. That was one of the most bizarre it, it stories ever. Very, very strange. It's, it, yeah. I was. I thought at the end they were going to say that the the husband had set him up to do it and something like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought but... it'd be a bit weird. That that'd be weird, even weirder. But um, but that was one of the most bizarre stories I've come across of an intruder coming in. He wants to steal a car. Who's fourteen years of age? Who's ended up killing someone? Yeah. Right. That is just. It's not like went from who do you think it could be to they've got the guy. Yeah. I don't know, it was kind of like, how did they know it was him? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. It's unless he was known to the family. Yeah. That's the only other way, I don't know, and the girls the knew mother, him. And even the mother, the way she is, I know, like, as a parent... Oh, the son knew him, sorry. Yeah, mm. as a parent, you want to make sure that your, your child's all right, but he's done wrong. You mm. can't be like, you know... No, like, I know, I know. The real bizarre story, yeah, that. Very yeah, strange, very but, yeah, strange. Yeah, as always, though, Explore With Us, great channel. Yeah. Uh, did it really well. Well put together. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Cheers.